sing my songs till I think I'll burst. But I never forget that I'm a fireman first. I love to rock and I love to swing. But the thing I love best is when the fire bell ring. A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, a just one more verse. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. Show off more like it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh no! I better call Fireman Sam. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sing? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, Elvis. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Uh-oh! Ah! Cut! Cut! I think we better call Fireman Sam! James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. It's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger that, Sam. Sam. Uh, 100%. Roger that. Penny, shut off the electricity at the box. James? He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. I'm really sorry, Sam. I'll be more careful in the future. And Norman Price? Next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I put you in so much danger, James. Norman, we can't film anymore. All these rescues have almost filled up my memory card. Oh, really? Norman Price is Jake Pond, international firefighting super spy. Yay! <laughs> Dangerous stuff is my middle name. No, it's not Norman. It's Stanley. Mom! <laughs> Maybe you are 
a professional actor after all, Sam. Oh, thanks, Penny. That stunt double is fabulous. Who is he? <laughs> the name's Sam. Fireman Sam. The island bird. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. Will Tom really be where you said, Dad? I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Yes! Beauties! You found me! There you go, Tom! Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be out there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> Our dad is the best. He's the coolest dad ever. All those who agree, sound your horns. <laughs> everyone. Gather in close. I don't know what Sam was talking about. We're easy to photograph. Cheese! Did you manage to get all those pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great! I'll call Granddad and tell him they're nearly done. <gasps> don't call Granddad, James. Call Fireman Sam! <laughs> <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, Sam. Sam. Electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. Sam! Sam! I did it! 
I got out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait. It's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no. That might be on fire, too. Ah! I'm on my way. Sorry, I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mom or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. For you to get out and enjoy sausages. <gasps> uh, sausages? There are sausages in this box. <gasps> we took the wrong box. So where is Mr. Penguin? So, what's it to be? Rainy day in Rio, mm. or ocean breeze over Canada? Mm. Oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box, then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. <laughs> I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh! oh no! My scented candles! to go upstairs. Ah! Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before, but I suppose there's a first time for everything. Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh, no! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and uh, Dylan Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs. Yes, that. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? The chances are pretty high, Elvis. Sorry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy!
Rounding up the runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. <laughs> Come back here, you silly sheep. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Ouch! Ow! Oh, my poor little vegetables. Got you. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one. Oh. Ah, now it really does look like Ponty Pandy. Come on, come on to the greatest show on. Stop here. Norman's Flea Circus. Ta-da! Where are the fleas, Norman? I don't know. They were here. Oh, oh, uh, 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 let's hear it for my spectacular jumping flea. Norman! An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. I told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? Uh, I didn't finish. <laughs> Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Hannah like the wind! <laughs> Made it! Yeah! Oh, of course you did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah. <laughs> What's that? That's Norman and Derek. Oh dear. Sam, help! We can't get back. Grab hold of the end. Simon, Sam, thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! 
Oh no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Ah, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh yes, us. <laughs> yes. I, I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. OK, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you boys hadn't lost those floppy shovels. Sorry, Fireman Sam. In this hot weather, it's vital to be able to put out small fires quickly before they spread. I should never have left them alone with that cooking stove. That's true, Trevor. Ah, oh, nothing like getting away from the office and putting out a good fire. Don't you agree, sir? Uh, abs <laughs> absolutely. Are you OK, sir? You sound out of breath, old chap. Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Phillips, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter War, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. Ta-da! That's a place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear! Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad! You need to stop! Someone needs to call! Fireman Sam! <laughs> Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury! <laughs> 
Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favorite chocolatey treat. <gasps> no, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving them lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. Huh? Oh! Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger that, Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. I see him, boy. Oh, oh dear. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? So sorry, Mom. I forgot that you told me that the fox was a wild animal, because I thought it looked like a dog, and I opened the cage to feed it, and it escaped. You mean that fox? <gasps> yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere, and... It's back? He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or, uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves? Uh, uh, pandas? Fish? Unicorns? <laughs> <laughs> now then. I'm off to rescue Dolly. What are you doing? You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper and her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Credlington, until Jupiter is clean, pristine, and gleaming. Hmm. Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. <laughs> Ooh, here comes the new 
dragon! You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last-minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire-breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever! Ah, behold, my dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Whoa! Huh? Oh. And it's coming toward us! Oh! Oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I think I better call Fireman Sam! Fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. Give him a shout, he'll be there to help.